so if you want to do mba then go for it if you want to become an ias or an ips officer go for it now talking about the uh, real skills that matters is your coding skills your problem solving skills hello everyone and today we have with us mr mukul and he is here to share his experience with us so before moving ahead with the interview first of all welcome to our channel mr mukul and tell us something about yours Thank you so much for your warm welcome. Uh, let me start with a basic introduction of mine. Uh, hello everyone. I am Mukul Kumar. Currently working as a software engineer at Amazon, and I have some really good experience in is in tech. Uh, I have done Google Summer of Code. I have spent a lot of time on open source, competitive coding in different kind of fields. I have done a couple of internships as well. So I believe I am kind of a bit technical guy. and talking about like my uh, hobbies and stuff I, i like to read books and i like to spend time on mentoring people which are not uh, which are basically trying to jump into the tech world okay that's really good to hear and could you tell us something about the company you are currently working with okay so currently i'm working at amazon which is uh, known as one of the biggest tech companies in this universe uh i don't know about mars and other planets but at least uh, we are one of the biggest companies on earth so we are also the most customer centric companies if we look at uh, like uh, our leadership goals we are basically serving our customers and we try to do uh, that thing very nicely talking about like uh, the culture at amazon like we we have we have a lot of op- openings like every day every single day Uh, I don't know the current amount of employees that we have, but it is like a uh, really, really massive. And uh, talking about the FANG acronym, uh, we are basically on the third part. They are like one of the best uh, tech giants out there. We are currently hiring a lot of people and helping countries grow, not just a, and not just a single thing. In India, we have we have like launched a lot of products. I believe uh, you might have seen Amazon Prime, Amazon. music aws amazon.com amazon.in and a lot more and currently uh, we are uh, basically we have uh, started a new venture for in the edtech universe called amazon academy and i am uh, one of the people who is working on uh, that product okay. so like how does your days look like like what are the roles and responsibilities that you have to go through and basically about your profession if we talk about Okay, so I am a software engineer. It basically means I am going to deal with the software stuff, right? In Amazon, the software engineers are the one of the most people, uh, one of the most important people, I would say, because this is a tech company. Like the products that we make, all of the products are based on technology, heavily based on technology. We want to, uh, like, basically reduce the effort of living. Let's say, if you want to do something, you can uh, say Alexa to do do that thing. If if I want to turn on my fan, I'll call Alexa and she'll do that. We basically do these kind of things, right? And in these kind of things, engineers play a big amount of role. Now, talking about my day-to-day life and how uh, things went in my stuff, like I basically uh, use, I I usually wake up at let's say uh, six or seven. I hit the gym. After coming back, had have a great lunch, uh, like freshen up myself, and then start my day after a good breakfast. So my day, uh, most of my day revolves around this laptop only. Uh, I usually stay in this place and. Uh, Uh, in winters, I used to uh, like work from uh, my terrace so that I can get some good sunlight as well. So it's kind of like currently we are working from home, so it's kind of a very flexible uh, thing there. So I spend most of my time on my coding things. Let's say we we are building some stuff, we are building an application, we are building a website. So to that, uh, to testing that website, there are a lot of things which comes uh, under a software engineer's responsibility. from uh, building the product from testing to publishing it to checking if the customers are uh, using it properly or not and then improving that thing so all these things comes under software engineering stuff so during the recruitment period like how is the question and answer process handled at your company okay so yeah sure uh, now i have been into both of the sides so last year i was uh, i was like a uh, candidate i was uh, doing multiple interviews and now i am taking multiple interviews 
so now from my understanding uh, like the big product based companies let's say google facebook amazon uber microsoft tesla netflix these companies we focus on good problem solving skills we we don't need a, a 9 cgpa student we don't need toppers or this kind of stuff we need people with good mindset we need to people who can solve real life problems like at amazon we don't get paid to do labor thing to write uh, an essay or these kind of stuff we get paid to uh, solve big problems which which uh, real people are facing so our hiring are also based on that only so as you know the skills are really very important in shaping any profession if we talk about so what are the various skills that are available and we should be focusing on for the profession which you are going to okay starting with a very basic skill communication obviously you should be able to communicate very well and after the communication skill like this is a very basic thing like you should have this capability to talk otherwise you won't be able to communicate in an interview and like showcase your real skills now talking about the uh, real skills that matters is your coding skills your problem solving skills let's say how you approach a problem and how you solve that problem this is what matters and to get to this level uh, get to a very good problem solving level we uh, do a practice called uh, competitive coding or problem solving using data structures and algorithms so data structures and algorithms dsa is basically a uh, they are basically a tool that we use to prob- solve a problem let's say if i give you a problem and uh, Uh, let's say I, I told you that uh, my Alexa is not working right now. It is unable to connect with something, and then the person is going to think about like uh, what can be the problem, network issues and stuff. Then we are going to uh, cut down the problem to a specific data structure. Then we are going to solve that problem. So data structures and algorithms that has to be the topmost priority if you are applying to any company. So. as you mentioned that data structures and algorithms are really very important skills that should be in your profession so for building those skills like what are the resources we can go through or, or what are the platforms we can use in order to enhance that skill okay let's start let's let's assume a uh, a person that is watching this video is from a very uh, like first semester student he he or she doesn't know about anything regarding coding and stuff then the first platform that he or she should land should be hackerrank.com it is kind of a very basic platform where you learn any language let's say java python c++ any language you'll be able to learn from very basic examples and you you're going to code them on the website only after you get some uh, after you get some grasp on that language you can learn data structures about them and there are multiple platforms on the internet that from where you can learn let's say pep coding is a really good platform like a youtube channel you can learn from that place and there are multiple channels as well like there are some people who provide guidance as well so like there are content there's a lot of content available just stick to one thing start that thing and complete it then you will be good at data structures and algorithms So lastly any tips or suggestions that you want to give us to our audience who wants to join the same profession as yours Okay so if you want to uh, become a software engineer or uh, become like do anything in these big tech companies uh, there are there are going to be some restrictions let's say uh, like a lot of people come to me say like google don't visit my campus and facebook don't come to my college so i cannot apply don't don't get disheartened for them I, i am from a tier 3 college these companies don't visit my campus i don't even know how to apply but still i'm here so start as early as possible invest your time have a sharp goal so if you want to do mba then go for it if you want to become an ias or an ips officer go for it if you want to do software development as your full time career then Uh, have a narrow down sharp goal then go for it spend your time there if you're doing a bca or an mc or a btech student even even if you're a freelancer you can join these companies we don't have like a boundaries or limitations on the degree so start your uh, start your journey as soon as possible so we wish you a very best of luck from our team place on interview and thank you so much for joining with us today it was amazing talking to you your vision and filling us the environment with the motivation so of course the viewers 
please go and subscribe to his channel as well as you can connect with him on LinkedIn. The links will be in the description box below. Stop.